Today on the show, we've got a wellness news you can use, and we are talking with Dr. Rogers, as well as a brand new segment with Todd Summers. We're talking movies and trips back with a brand new knee. So many new things. This knee, I've got a warranty for 15 years. I can go abuse it. Whoa. All this and more happening right here, right now on Talk 365 TV. Here we go. And welcome back to Talk 365 TV. That's Holly Love. I'm Trip Mitchell. And, um, you know, in the hospital, I tried to watch our show. Yes. But I just never was... Uh, Awake at 5.30 perfectly? No, because they, they wake you up at like 4 to give you medications and stuff. And then it's, it's a weird schedule. I've not spent much time in the hospital, thank God. But, yeah. But yes, exactly. You know, the people that work in hospitals are angels. They have to be, right? We were just talking about that. You should be drawing a type of person who really wants to help people feel good and you have to bring a certain energy. You can't have a bad day. And having spent a couple days in the hospital and you have different nurse every eight hours and a nurse's assistant, it, it's just a great experience. So the crew that I just put a picture up on the screen or more appropriately, Sylvia did, this is Jeremy and Wendy. These are the people that helped me through my replaced shoulder a year ago. Okay. And I still get to work at, at Tosh Physical Therapy. And we joke around a lot and have a good time because otherwise physical therapy is no fun. And Because it's painful. So let's let's go back just a little bit because you, you're just a week out, yeah. week and a half out from getting a knee. Where did you get your knee done? At Tosh. At Tosh. And now you're into physical therapy. What are they doing? They're making, they go in and make me hurt for an hour. So they do a lot of stretching and a lot of ice and some light exercises. Mm -hmm. But I've told them that I will be on the ice in five months. I'm moving my... Probably. By ice, he's meaning hockey. Yes, and then skiing a month after that. So I'm I'm on it. But I really want to thank everyone at Tosh. You guys are amazing. Dr. Holmstrom did a great job. Uh, his assistant William, but mostly the guys. I you know to go and realize that you're going to have a couple hours a week that really hurts. Uh huh. You got to have the right people there. So you got to have some fun dudes to joke around with, right? Exactly. And Jeremy and Wendy do a great job. And, dudes and gals, it sounds like. Sorry that's about more that. appropriate. Yes. So uh, when's your knee replacement? Any? Never. Okay. I am going to learn how to grow new knee tissue through meditation and all kinds of cool things with Dr. Joe Dispenza. I'm, I don't know. I never want that. You know, my mom had that done uh, probably 10 years ago. And I mean, when I realized what was happening. The surgeon sat down with me right before and started to talk with me. And I'm like, I, you got to stop talking. I don't want to know this. Like it's very, you, you have your leg off, yes. which is just crazy. That is a big thing. That's a lot happening. And then I assume it's come a long way. So as far as even from when my mom had it done, but I know it, it was very painful as far as the recovery. So I know you're in a lot of pain and thank you for being here. Ooh. Okay, what are we gonna do next, next block? Coming up is our wellness news you can use. I'm gonna tell you about a documentary that's been banned by Netflix. So you're gonna to wanna to stick around. This is important news for members of the military who suffer from hearing loss or ringing in the ears, also known as tinnitus. If you or a loved one were issued these dual-ended combat earplugs and now have hearing loss or ringing in the ears, you may be eligible for a cash award and medical expenses from the earplug manufacturer. If you or a loved one were issued the dual-ended combat earplugs and now have hearing loss or ringing in the ears, call the law offices of Davis and Crump right now. Operators are standing by. Healthcare for the Talk 365 team is provided by Body Renew. And good morning. Thanks for joining us on this beautiful summer morning. I'm Trip Mitchell, and that's Holly Love. You're watching Talk 365 TV right here on KJAZZ. And we have a little wellness news you can use coming at you straight out of our first block with Trip telling us all about new knees. You're an expert in this whole wellness thing with shoulders and new knees. Do you have any tips before I, I dive into? Yeah, I think the biggest tip is if you're in constant pain, really go see your doctor and then they'll they'll recommend you to a specialist and you know their job is to get you out there and feeling better and it's not easy to get a joint replacement, but to be in pain you have to take that and take a look at 
if you're in pain doing thing every day, mm -hmm. how much is it worth to concentrate that pain for three or four weeks? Right. And then be done with it. And then be done. Okay, well, let's jump in because I've found this documentary yep. called Root Cause and it came out early January of this year. And it's really interesting because it is talking about the procedure of root canals and the way they extract teeth, both your wisdom teeth or just pulling teeth in general, how they have found all of these studies that it's basically blocking in infection that gets into your jaw and your jawbone is like a sponge and so it just like seeps in there and becomes septic and then it starts to go down to other sides. So there's a study in 98% of women who have breast cancer, they find had a root canal on the same side, 98%. And then they have infections that still live in there. And because you can live with it and not know because it doesn't always hurt, it's just septic and dripping into your body. It's tied to prostate cancer. It's tied to all kinds of health conditions, anxiety, depression. Your mouth, we've done so much with Dr. Hatch and uh, functional neurology and understanding how the eyes play such a big part with concussions and head injuries and how the brain is functioning. Your mouth is like connected to your lower brain stem as well. And so things that are, uh, especially your wisdom teeth is connected to your heart and to your brain. And so a lot of anxiety and depression is also tied to it. It was just a fascinating documentary and the American Dental Society pulled it from Netflix, I think through lawsuit threats or whatever, which I think unless you're threatened, why would you do that? That was, I was curious what you would think about that. Well, maybe there's some misinformation in there. So far, I've not been able to find anything because there are dentists, a, a number of dentists now that are practicing these more healthy root canal and extraction procedures. There are things that you need to know when you do get an extraction, like does your dentist pull the ligament? Because a lot of times they'll pull the tooth and they'll then seal it over and leave the ligament, which is like leaving a gangrene toe. Like you'd never do that. You gotta pull it all so that the bone can heal perfectly. Or the way that they do, instead of doing a root canal with a, a typical rod in there, do one that has like a connection, like a bridge um, that is connected to the other teeth. It's not as secure. You might have to have it replaced, but you're not gonna get some crazy toxic infection that you don't know is living there from having it. I'd rather have something replaced 10 years down the road than you know, deal with something that could be huge on your health. But all in all, this filmmaker who made the doc, um, it's a story about him. He has an actor, of course, playing him. It's really well done. It's about his 10 year journey that he is just struggling with all of these different things. And he did all the crazy guru stuff, did ayahuasca groups, all that kind of stuff. And then he basically found through all of these different means trying to find wellness, he found dentists that were able to tell him this is what was happening. And you know, it wasn't immediately he found health, but you'll have to check it out. You can get it on Google Play, obviously not Netflix. You can get it on any of your online digital platforms. It's a really interesting documentary, especially if you're struggling with health. And you know what, if you're struggling with health, another person to look into right here locally is our own Dr. Rogers. He is a functional MD, so that means he thinks alternatively, he thinks outside of the box, and he's gonna tell you all about your thyroid. Check it out. Talk 365's Wellness Minute is brought to you by Body Renew with wellness team expert, Dr. Brian Rogers. Hi, I'm Dr. Rogers from Body Renew. Are you having trouble with fatigue, weight gain, dry hair, dry skin? Uh, hair loss, menstrual irregularities, if you're a woman, swelling, muscle aches, joint pain, constipation or depression, and then your doctor has told you that your thyroid is just fine? If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, give me a call at 801-677-0039 or catch me on the internet at bodyrenewhealth.com. And if you mention Talk365, I'll give you a free consult to help us get started in figuring out what's going on. We are the dreamers. We changed the world. Because we don't give up. IU can help you live your dream. IU is an online college, so your campus is wherever you want it to be. Take classes when you want to take classes. You receive the tools you need at no extra cost. Even a brand new laptop and tablet to use in school. Call IU, then tell them your dream. Call 1-800-613-8965. That's 1-800-613-8965. Attention, those who have used Monsanto's Roundup Weed Killer in a commercial setting and developed non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. In the past year, juries have decided that Roundup Weed Killer caused plaintiffs to develop non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. If you or someone you know were exposed to the weed killer Roundup in a commercial setting, 
and later develop non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer, call us right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. Call now, 800-901-2879. Talk 365 TV's Talking Movies, now with Holly Love and Todd Summers. And welcome back to Talk 365 TV. Holly Love, Trip Mitchell, and uh, while that was very informative, that last block, Yes. Didn't it actually encourage me to go to breakfast after the show today. Really? Because you're nervous about your teeth? No, no, no. Because all the stuff you mentioned. Oh, all the gangrene and yeah, 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 yeah. infection. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you missed it, check it out on YouTube. You'll find it. Yeah, if you want to lose a couple pounds. <laughs> so we have a brand new segment. My old friend, Mr. Todd Summers, came over the other day and we got thinking about how we could play together because we love movies. We are huge fans of movies. And a long time ago, you know, it's hard to do the math when I'm only 29, but it was a while ago, Todd and I hosted a little show on KJAZZ called The Magnificent Movie Showcase. It was a lot like TBS's Dinner in a Movie. We came in during the breaks and we talked movies. We got to go to LA, we did some junkets. And so neither of us are critics, but we are just huge fan. Todd loves classic movies. What What is your favorite classic movie? Do you have one? And what would you define classic? You know, I'm, so Vita was gone this weekend. The St. Louis Blues won the Stanley Cup. So she flew home for the parade and all the festivities and it was insane. Awesome. But I had a chance to watch some classic movies and they didn't hold up. The test of time was rough on them. Oh, okay. So what is considered probably a top five movie by everyone? Mm -hmm. Serious critic is The Godfather. Okay. Would you stand by that? Would that be your like go-to classic? No. I mean, it just... It, it, <laughs> It was very dated, and then I watched Blazing Saddles. Okay. Um, it's very racist. <laughs> oh, it is. It would not survive today. No, it would not. politically incorrect much. Then Caddyshack. So I've I've gone back and forth, but I have saved Apollo 13, which I haven't seen before. So you mm. want to watch? But Shawshank Redemption is a movie that I've never seen. <gasps> really? And oh my is, gosh, it is a beautiful film. And don't you, you love? Cry. Don't you love Rotten Tomatoes? So on your... I don't get Rotten Tomatoes. I don't understand how it works. But literally, you can look at a movie, you can go through the guide, and you know pretty much if it's good or not. So if the tomatoes are more rotten? Well, if it's 80% or above, it's a wonderful movie. 80% rotten or 80% not rotten? Not rotten, I think, would be the way to put it. I think so, too. But then when you look at it, it looks more rotten the higher the number. I don't know, maybe I need some training on that. Nonetheless, yeah. if you don't get Rotten Tomatoes, you'll definitely get Todd and I. We sat down and we're gonna tell you what to watch in theaters, what to watch again, and what to watch party. All this happening right here, right now. Here you go. Hey everybody, welcome to our Talking Movies. I'm Holly Love and that is Todd Summers. And here we are coming at you each month to tell you what to watch in theaters, watch again, and watch party. Hey Toddy, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good, I, I love that we do this now. I know, I'm so excited because Holly and I aren't really movie critics or even movie reviewers. No. We don't go to junkets mm -mm. yet. Yet. But we love movies, we're movie fans and so from oh, our, we're going to give you our perspective. We, we have some, we have some That's movie true. experience. Now That's I have, true. I have junketed. We do Sundance every year. That's right. I'm sorry. And then back in the day, mm -hmm. we hosted a little show called the Magnificent Movie Showcase, right. which basically Todd here was my very first producer and gave me my very first regular TV gig. How right. was I in the audition? Fantastic. Exactly. He has to say that because we're still friends. <laughs> But we had so much fun. Those were the most fun days. And we're ultimate fans. You are a classic film expert. I'm not very classic comfortable Hollywood. with expert, but you really are. I, I love classic Hollywood and the movies from the golden era. You and you have a lot of history, a lot of Hollywood yeah. history knowledge. Yeah. And I just I love movies and I love you know behind the scenes stuff. And anyway, it's really really fun. So for July. Are movies that we're going to tell you you should watch in theaters? I'm going first and stealing it. Spider-Man. Oh, oh, you got me. I know, because it was one. a no-brainer. That one's yeah. really easy. So I'm not a comic book expert, right. as a lot of my and previous co-hosts will attest. I, I know nothing. Yeah. But I love them. I love all of the movies. I get DC and Marvel confused. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. But I Sylvia's shaking her head. She keeps me in line. Yes, she, she knows. Does. Yeah. Yeah. But um, 
I love that kid. He yeah. is so cute. The, Tom Holland? Yes. Yeah. I adore him. So this one takes place post-Avengers. Okay. So we're going to kind of get a little bit of understanding of what in the world happened there at the end. Right. I, I hope, at least. Mm -hmm. And my cute little nephew, Kellett, who has been on a mission, um, is coming home. He, we kind of always like compared him to that Spider-Man because he's just oh. cute and helpful and so such a love. Yeah. And he's been gone and it's just ironic. My sister is so excited she's not watched any Marvel <laughs> movies because she wanted to wait for Kellett to come back. Yeah. And they're going to do one of those whole big watch from the beginning to end, oh, ending cool. with, of course, Spider-Man, this one. one coming out. That's but we cool. got to go to it in theaters, people. We'll make a whole right. party of yeah. it. I, so your pick. So my pick is... Stuber with Dave Bautista. Now, do you remember him? He's the huge guy in Guardians of the Galaxy. Huge, <gasps> kind of green that is with the red. Just like sarcastic yeah. as all get yeah. out. I love yeah. him so much when he tells the bug how hideous she is. Right. <laughs> that is like my favorite. Right. I love that yeah, guy. He's okay. great. And I just saw a, a trailer for it that looks really funny. Uh -huh. it, it, it stars um, Kumal. Uh -huh. Ninjami, yeah. I think I pronounced that right. Yeah. Maybe I'm sorry if I didn't. But it's it's kind of a, he's a, a Uber driver, Kumal is, and Dave is a huge, like grizzled LA detective and somehow they come together and they go on these adventures and it, it really looks funny. Oh, so, I love yeah, it. I'm excited to see it. So Kumal, we got to interview at Sundance uh, for The Big Sick when it premiered. Oh, yeah. We got to interview Judd Apatow uh -huh. and watch that whole thing unfold. Did you ever see that movie? No, I didn't. It was, it's really, it is one to watch again. Okay. I'll even do a little preemptive watch again on that because okay. seriously, it's, it's like one of those that is just insta classic for movies like that. All right. Okay, so speaking of Watch Again, since that one was impromptu and not planned, yeah. you go. Watch Again. A movie that you can watch again over and over for me is Goodwill Hunting. Ooh. I love, love it. that movie from 1997. Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, Robin Williams. Robin Williams won his only Oscar, maybe? Is that? I don't know. I don't know we if it's look. his only, but it was, it, the Oscar was for. Um, best supporting, supporting actor. actor, yeah. Because that whole thing was the big sweep right. with Ben and Matt right. and all of that. Yeah. I mean, it was huge. Ben and Matt won an Oscar for best writing, writing. and screenplay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And there has always been a little bit of controversy about that because they had some help with certain people. Mm -hmm. some, Along the way, right. collaborative efforts. But I think really that's how every film is made right. at the end of the day. I know people who live by them in Hollywood that were you know, it's like Seven Degrees of Kevin Bacon. They, right. they were neighbors, lived in the neighborhood. They all knew of each other. They were all in the grind of, yeah. you know, working it and hustling. And, and you know, from all the people I knew that knew them, mm -hmm. if they did have some help, it was from people like that. And yeah. maybe they were a step up above them, but like, hey, we read this and give me your thoughts on yeah. it. But it, I mean, it came from them. Yeah. So it's a fun story. It's I love the great story movie. too. Yeah, it's just, it's full of heart and great performances. Makes you cry. Yeah. I don't think there's ever a time I watch that that I don't cry. Yeah. It's just that yeah, good. There's some powerful, powerful scenes in it. So that would that be mine. That is a good one. And you know what? I know that it is on Netflix right now, so you can find it there. If I were to pick one that I want to watch again, I jumped into the John Wick series. Oh. When it, so, and I missed it in theaters. It was going to be my watch in theaters in yeah. June because life is crazy. But I watched it online, the first one, mm -hmm. and I did this because number one, I fell in love with Keanu all over again <laughs> for Always Be My Maybe on Netflix. So uh -huh. this is kind of a two for one watch again. But for now, I jumped into John Wick and he is bad, eh, Todd? Oh, he is. You know what? I, I mean, I... don't hurt anything he loves or right. take his car. Yeah. It's that easy. Yeah. Right? Great, great movie. I, uh, all three of them I've really enjoyed. So I still need to watch two and three, and all of them are available, of course, on Google Play and all yeah. of those apps. So I yeah. will find them. I will watch it again. But that is my recommendation for you to jump in and get some, you know, hardcore action, I guess, this yeah. summer. Yeah. What is your um, watch party? Now, I have to say, Toddy, Okay. I'm going to say that we invented the watch party because we're that cool. I, I kind of think we did. I'll go along did. with that. So binging was like, you know, the thing you do where you just stay up all night by yourself and, yeah. and it's like just happening. I love this new thing where you watch party. You get with your friends. Sylvia does it with her friends, with cable girls. That's her big thing. They are super excited because it's like 
girl power. Oh, cool. I think you'd really like it, yeah. actually. So we should Cable probably girl. do that together. But back to Todd and I being the original watch party yeah. people, we get together two, three, five, seven times a week mm -hmm. because we'd be into a TV show like, right. you know, Dexter on Netflix. Right. We'd pull in a few friends, Doug yeah. and otherwise, Maddie Davis. They'd usually fall asleep. We'd and keep watching. And we would watching. stay awake. Yeah. Yes. Ooh, we watched Girls. We need to catch up on yeah, Girls. Don't, don't tell anybody that I watched Girls with I, you. I demanded that Todd watch It was watch good, girls. though. I, it was I did enjoy it. It is. Okay, here's. Um, I'm going to go with, you know, it's it's... Mad Men. <gasps> I haven't seen the last. Haven't you? Mm -mm. So I was in advertising. You know, I was yes, for were, like twelve years. You were him. I was him, and but not not What's as cool. Uh, John Draper. John. Uh, Draper. Yeah, Draper. But it was Don. Don Draper. Don Draper. Yeah, played by John Hamm, who's you know handsome guy. And Beautiful. it was set back in the '60s. They called them Mad Men because they were on Madison Avenue. Oh, That's the I didn't play get that right there. Yeah. Oh. And so my, uh, a gentleman that I knew mm -hmm. was a madman from, in New York City on in Madison, the 60s. In, yeah, in advertising. And was it like that, where everybody drank in the afternoon he and said they just he doesn't, high paid? Yeah. He said he didn't remember the smoking mm. as much, but he said definitely there were a lot of drinking. Yeah. If we can peel ourselves away from the Californication, which is now streaming on Netflix again, oh, that is one is a back? hard one to miss. Yep. That's... You know, Always I, a classic. It's, it's my, it, it really is my favorite. Yeah, it's good. And it's that's my binge watch when I, I need uh, when I'm a little, I don't care too much. You about, need to feel like a bad A a little bit, right? You know, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna say what the heck, mm -hmm. like uh, like he does. Don't you think he's like the divorced guy, like hero? Absolutely. And you know, you're at this point, you're like, wow, I've sort of done it all wrong. And then you watch that and you're like, you know what? I can still be cool. Yeah. I even get that from him. Right. He's, he's my hero for it yeah. all. Let's do a quick recap. Okay. Spider-Man. Right. Then of course, Stuber. Stuber, yeah. Then you got Watch It Agains. Yep, that was uh, Goodwill Hunting. What was mine? John Wick. Yes, start with the first one. Yep, John Wick and then And the we... second, and then go see the third waltz. Yes, yep, yep. yep. And then, of course, our watch party was... Mad Men. Mad Men for you. For and me. I was saying do either Californication yeah. or go AP Bio on Hulu. Have you watched that yet? Uh-uh. Hysterical. AP I Bio. laugh so hard. Patton Oswalt oh, is just rocking it. Cool. So there you go, there you Toddy. Go. Yeah. Are we doing this again next month? Let's do it again. And then this is fun. Thanks for having me on. Watch every week because Toddy has his own classic movie minutes where yeah. he tells you a wonderful movie from the 30s. Right. Explain that. Well, I just love classic movies. I feel like the best movies were made between 1911 and like 65. Mm -hmm. That's just me. Yeah. I love the lighting, the acting, the writing, the directing. It was Hollywood's glamour years, yep. you know? And so, and a lot of people that that I come in contact have never heard of some of these movies. Yeah. And so for them, it's the first time seeing them. Mm -hmm. And I love that. I love watching a movie with somebody who's never seen it and just watching their reaction, reaction to it. So be sure and check us out yeah. on YouTube, online. You can find us there. And we're going to be doing some giveaways as well. So check out our Talk Great. 365 TV Facebook page. You can see what we'll be doing, movie tickets and all kinds of fun paraphernalia that Todd and I have based on our Hollywood history and stuff mm -hmm. we want to give away to you. So tell us what you think. We want to yeah. know what you recommend that you watch in theaters, watch again, and of course, what you guys are watch partying. Like Sylvia with the Cable Girls, what are you guys doing? What are you getting ready for? What are you excited for? Tell us, interact with us, jump in on Facebook. You can find us, of course, on Talk365 TV. We're also on Instagram and Twitter. Wherever you want to talk to us, just jump in and do it. And then we also like to share here on the show what you have going on. Do yeah. some shout outs, all Absolutely. that good stuff. Yeah. Toddy, thanks for coming. I'm so excited for next month. Yeah. We'll have fun. I'm pumped. All right. Have a wonderful movie time. And we'll be right back on Talk 365 TV right after this. Are you struggling with addiction? Do you need to detox? Is addiction controlling your life? Hurting your loved ones? Don't be ashamed. Addiction is a disease that requires medical treatment. At Freedom From Addiction, we help people nationwide get free from addiction to alcohol, opioids, prescription medicine, narcotics, and more. Addiction is a disease. Get the medical treatment you need. Make the call.
Brain Rehab Clinic is proud to announce that they're the first clinic in Utah to have on site the gyro stem. And welcome back to the show. Good to see Todd out there. Now, if you, another movie that I thought was brilliant mm -hmm. 35 years ago was The In-Laws with Peter Falk and Alan Arkin. I have never seen that one, but I love Alan Arkin. He's one of my faves. Alan Arkin is tremendous Phenomenal. in everything he does. I, do, I love him. I want to talk about a little age prejudice at oh, Netflix. No. Oh, really? What's up? So Grace and Frankie is considered by a lot of people, and you guys watch it, I think. I, I have. Jane Fonda and, and Lily, Lily Tomlin. Tomlin. Absolutely phenomenal. Great cast. You know, they ordered six episodes, right, or six seasons right away. Mm -hmm. Boom, 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 boom. But they also have a show called The Kaminsky Method with I Michael watched Douglas. I that one as well. But, and Alan Arkin. Exactly. Yep. Which is a much better show, but yet... Why does the Lily Tomlin, Jane Fonda movie get all the, or TV series get all the love? Because it took a long time. Because Kaminsky Method is a much... Did they cancel? No, they just didn't renew it for about six months. Oh, okay. And they, they finally have renewed it. Yeah. But the weird thing about Netflix is they don't release their viewership figures. They keep those all uh, internal. Well, and there's like no Nielsen or public... No, there isn't. So ...ranking, so you don't really know who's deciding know. why, right? Yeah. By the way, Stranger Things is coming out. I Everyone is so excited about that. So speaking of watch party, I was going to ask you, what would you recommend to watch party right now as far as binge watch? Sit down and just go. I. You always have a good one. You got me hooked on episodes, right? Or episodes, yeah. With Wonderful. Matt, that was amazing. Um, Sylvia's recommended Cable Girls. I don't know if you've seen that one. Um, but I recently watched uh, Dead to Me with Christina Applegate, which was really good. I'd recommend that one if you've got you know, nothing to do but heal your knee. But what have you been checking out? I, the, I really don't watch a lot of TV anymore. So when she was gone for the weekend watching a couple movies, but The the Godfather just seemed it was slow. Mm -hmm. Did you watch all of them or just the first one? Just the first. The first and the second are considered probably one and one A by a lot of critics as the best movies ever. Mm -hmm. And uh, But it's fun. I mean, you know, cutting the... You know, everyone wants to talk about cutting the cable, but when you still have cable, there's a lot of stuff to watch. Uh, right. Did you just surf and find a million different channels yeah. you didn't know were there? Yeah. But then Vita has a weird thing that she doesn't want her DVR above 30%. Okay. She wants it cleaned out. Uh, you know, people have those things. I, 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 you know, you've got to understand what's important to her. Right? Well, so as far as watch parties go, I think it's really a fun concept to be able to invite your friends over. Because binging used to be the thing, but now it's this idea of watch party. And get together with your friends and watch a whole episode or get together every Wednesday, every Thursday. And so there's a lot out there between Hulu. I've been watching AP Bio which is hysterical. Patton Oswalt is in it. He is so funny. And there's a lot of Netflix new things coming down the pipe for the summer. And how about all the game shows that they're doing? Have you noticed the revival? You know, summer TV is either usually reality TV, and I'm so happy that they're moving game show. A lot of game shows in there. Alec Baldwin actually does a really good job in it. But we watched that one last night. Match, but match game? What is that one? What's Alec Baldwin? I'm not sure, but we have got to go. We do have to go. So anywho, I hope you find something fun to watch and I hope you get out there and have some fun in all this glorious, beautiful Utah weather. This is my favorite time of year. Thank you so much for joining us and be sure and come back tomorrow right here on KJS TV. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.